12 years, the characters of the Big Bang Theory have given us laughter, joy, and inspiration. New South's Kaylee Nix is here with a look at how two of the characters have helped shape ideas about women succeeding in science. When we see female characters who are doing awesome things, it makes me want to do awesome things too. Ella Harris is only in middle school, but she credits her success in advanced math and sciences to reading about and watching other women doing well in STEM fields while being portrayed as real, relatable characters. When you can relate to someone, that sort of helps you to have the strength to do something even when it's way way more difficult than it should be for you. In The Big Bang Theory, Amy and Bernadette's characters battle the stigma of being judged on their looks instead of their work. What exactly are you doing? Determining baseline fear levels in capuchin monkeys by measuring their response to visual stimuli. So goofing off. That's something that teachers want to see more of. The only time I see excited and beautiful women in science on the TV is when it's for really young kids. And so I think for high school and college age kids, it'd be so great if we could see more um, women who can talk at a high level, at a high academic level about science and still be passionate and still be excited and, you know, but not necessarily be condescending. We want our girls to be exposed in the media to problem solvers, creative thinkers, collaborators, really great communicators, public speakers, and there are so many of those out there. Meteorologist and author Ginger Z hopes to be one of those inspiring female science presences through her book series, Chasing Helicity. I feel like this is the time for a female scientist to be the lead of science and the face of science, and I'd love to be her. Because she believes the best way to get girls to believe that they can succeed is through firsthand experience of watching others' success. If you see it, you can envision it. It's much more difficult uh, for somebody to say, well, I know I really like this. I think that, uh, you know, whenever I've seen clouds, it's interesting to me. What am I going to do with that? It's great to have a character or an actual person to look up to. But inspiration doesn't come from just scientists. There are other women that are doing phenomenal things in the world in terms of STEM and humanities. And pay attention to them. Mm -hmm. Pay attention to the difference that they're making in the lives of others. Personal successes that the characters in the show find can also serve as a reminder that in the end, we choose our own happiness. It's important for women to see not only women like other women in the STEM field, but also other women making that choice to be whatever makes them happy.